In less than two weeks, you can be ticketed if you were seen talking on the phone, driving through a school zone or a construction zone. So you have to be hands free. So this is part of a law passed earlier this year banning texting while driving. Law enforcement agencies started issuing warnings and citations to drivers caught texting specifically behind the wheel on July 1st. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy is live. Jennifer, you're taking a closer look at the impact this law is having so far. Good morning. Since the texting and driving law went into effect back in July, Florida Highway Patrol says it's issued hundreds of warnings. So as they get ready to go into this next phase of the law, the hands free law in October, troopers are urging drivers to put the phone down. Since the texting and driving law went into effect more than two months ago, Florida Highway Patrol says they've issued 438 warnings and 542 citations have been issued statewide by all law enforcement agencies. This map shows where they have been issued, with a majority in Central Florida and a chunk in Northeast Florida. Starting October 1st, the second part of the texting and driving law goes into effect. That means all school zones, school crossings, and active construction zones will be hands-free. The penalty is a $60 fine and three points on your driver's license. Unless it is a dangerous situation right now, troopers are just issuing warnings to drivers that are texting and driving or drivers that will not be following that hands free rule come October. But starting January 1st, they will be issuing citations. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station.